a couple of comments about something that I experienced this past week. Now, most of you know that I have a meditation practice, and so as I was preparing for my meditation practice, I, I lit the candles, and, and so I, I knew with all my heart that it was inauguration day, and so I sent blessings and love in that direction that everything would be safe and all this transfer of power would take place in a way that was truly safe. And so um, as I sat down, one of the first things that I read each morning is our... Daily Word. Daily Word. So I, I, the first thing I read was Daily Word. And the word for the day on January the 20th, 2017, was a world united. And the affirmation was, I envision all people coming together in unity. And as I thought that, I thought, well, I know a little bit about Daily Word. They wrote this at least and planned this at least five months ahead of time. And the author says, I envision all people coming together in unity. John Lemon's song, Imagine, shares these inspirational words. Imagine all the people living life in peace. With the power of my imagination. I visualize people throughout the world coming together in unity. I pray for peace among all people and for creative solutions to seemingly difficult situations. I support efforts to bring people to mutual understandings. I speak words of kindness and act respectfully toward others whose views may not align with my own. If I encounter chaos or unrest, I respond calmly as I display my prayerful peace of mind. Through my prayers and through my actions, I help to create a world where all people come together in unity. Was that not perfect for that day? Absolutely perfect. And so I thought this is so much our teachings. Each and every one of us has that what within, that Christ presence within, that light, that God presence within us. And we experience that God presence. We experience that God presence as guidance, as understanding, as comfort, as peace. All these things we experience. And so we know that within us, we are divine, individually, we are divinely guided and directed on what is ours to do. And we step forth knowing with peace in our heart that it is ours to do. And sitting in the sanctuary this morning, we have our own individual guidance. We will not be guided in the same way. Do you get that? We will not be guided in the same way. For your guidance is unique. And my guidance is unique. But what I love about this teaching is that on Sunday morning, this is indeed a safe place to come together in unity, in love, in unity, in peace.